This is the most awkward camera setup in my life, but I'm a roll with it because I really want to sit on the camera. Hey guys, it's Sav. Welcome back to Book It. And today we are going to be talking about a book that literally took the nation by storm. Um, and I don't mean that like as a joke. I mean, it's like 100%. This was like the book that everyone was talking about 24 freaking seven. Um, and that is the love hypothesis. This was literally on every single TikTok, YouTube, anywhere you could possibly think this book was on it. Um, so I finally sat down and read it. I actually read all three of them. I thought they were a series. They're not a series. Um, take my glasses off because it's like reflecting really badly. Um, yeah, I thought it was a series, not a series. So very shocked on that one. But we are going to dive into this. Um, I do want to say, kind of spoilers, I'm going to guess. Um, it was a really sappy romantic book. It also was originally a fan fiction with Adam Driver. So like the main character looks like Adam Driver, but his name is Adam Carlson, but whatever. Um, so this book was 100% my like Valentine's Day read. Cause I was like, oh, I wanna, you know, love. Um, so I read this around Valentine's Day, but it does have one of my favorite tropes, sun, uh, Grumpy X Sunshine. Um, so this book takes place at Stanford's PhD candidate program, I think, um, where Olive, this girl, uh, is trying to go and become a um, doctorate in biology something. Um, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the time that they were talking about like science stuff, I failed intro to Kim. So like, I am really bad with that kind of things. Um, but you know, basically a girl named Olive at the very beginning of her like interview process, she runs to the bathroom cause she's crying and she's freaking out cause she really wants to get into the school. And she runs into this guy who was like, you'll be fine. Like literally like chill out. And then we flash forward like three years later, she, oh, okay. Three years later, she um, is like in, you know, her program and her best friend is like pressuring her to like go on a date with someone. She's like, I'm, on, I'm dating somebody, blah, blah. And then she turns around and she kisses this random guy who happens to be doc Dr. Adam Carlson, um, who was known for like being like a very terrible person. Like he's really smart and intelligent, but he doesn't really like, he's not like a people person. Like he's just, he's like a very smart guy and he just lets it be like that. Um, and she's trying to find a way to get on a project to help find a cure or detect cancer um, better because she has a traumatic backstory with her mom and pancreatic cancer. So she's like trying to develop better technology. Um, you know, so she kisses Dr. Carlson to kind of prove a point. Um, and she's really nervous because he's known for like making people extend their capstones and like, um, you know, extends their graduation date, turns down their ideas. Um, he's not really a nice guy. People kind of hate him. Um, so she explains everything to him about how she was supposed to be like on a date and she was actually studying and she didn't want to hear about it again from her roommate. And he's like, okay. And she's like, yeah, like, sorry. And he's like, cool, we could fake date. And she's like, no, like, we don't have to be like, it's fine. Like, he's just very like nonchalant, um, which is, you know, it's a sappy it's a romance novel like what do you expect um they go through the entire story where they get put in these like really awkward situations where they have to like pretend to like each other even though they like hate each other but like they're interested in each other it yeah whatever um so she's selected to give a speech at a conference and signs up with this professor and scientist at harvard and basically that he's gonna like let her like use his lab um so she's like, if I go and talk about, you know, her research and everything, he's basically going to give her a grant and be like, come work at Harvard with me. Why does my phone keep saying low battery? I got it. Thank you. Um, it keeps saying like low battery, low battery. I know it's fine. Um, but like, she's like, okay, yeah, like I'll go work at this. I'll go work at this lab at Harvard. And he's like, cool, rock on. And then like the next day she finds out that uh, Dr. Carlson and this guy are like actual like childhood friends. And she's like, crap. Well, she doesn't want, she doesn't want Tom to like, like her because of Adam. Like she wants to like get in because she's like actually smart. Um, so she ends up 
you know, he in Tom ends up finding out that like Dr. Carlson and her are like dating, right? And um, so she Holden doesn't like Tom. Oh, and then Holden is a third friend. Um, so Dr. Carlson has like two friends, Tom and Holden. Tom and him work together a lot, like when they do like science stuff, but like Holden is like his like actual ride or die, right? Um, sorry, got that mixed up. Holden is the childhood best friend. They're best friends forever. Tom is the guy that's offering this girl a lab. Holden does not like Tom. He says that Tom is like a weird guy he doesn't like and he thinks that Tom just kind of uses like his name to get whatever he wants. And, but he's like, but he does have a good lab. So like if you're able to get in his lab, rock on. Um, so one day, Olive is cornered by Tom and he's like, yeah, like you want to come work at my lab? And she's like, yeah, I really do. Like my research is like taking off. It's doing really well. And he's like, oh, well, like you're sleeping with Dr. Carlson to graduate. So like you'll sleep with me to like get your lab, right? And she's like, no, I'm, it's not like that. And he's like, yeah, it is. And he tries to make a move on her, right? So she ends up uh, telling Adam everything um he is at dinner with like a bunch of harvard people and tom like he's like about to accept a position there as like one of their um leading like professors and she goes and she tells him everything she's like i'm sorry because like at this point they're not really together and he's like okay so he immediately snaps and threatens to kill kill tom and then he turns around and he reports it to the harvard board and they fire him um because that's what happens so she like starts trying to find a different lab to work in because she's no longer going to work in the harvard lab um holden is discussing the career path with his um with adam and basically this was not the first time that harvard has tried to get adam to go work there they've offered him like a lot of money but he didn't want to leave um but he wasn't going to move to boston for the money that he was going to move for her so basically, once she found out she was going to go to Harvard originally with Tom, he was like, yeah, well, I'm accepting the job there. It wasn't because he was getting more money. It was because of her. Um, so they go out to dinner with Holden. Um, and basically, Holden tells this whole long story about how um, it was so funny that Adam is dating somebody now. Because back like three years ago, this random girl in a bathroom kissed him. And he hasn't been able to get over this girl. And he has no idea who she is. And he's been upset obsessed with her but when he found out who it was he realized she was a student and he could never make a move until she had graduated and that's when Olive was like oh my god and they basically live happily ever after it's a romance novel what'd you expect um it's a really cute little book you know I read it because I was like oh I need a little sappy romance in my life um I need to step away from the dark romance for a moment you, you know it's getting a little rough in the dark romance world when like the trigger warnings like after you read them you're like mm. so um i stepped away to have a nice little like read of just like oh happy love 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 um i do have the other two books right here i'm probably going to film a video on them as well uh once i clear my head because i'm not mentally all here at the moment but um i was really worried that the series was like going to be stretched on but it's not even a series so i don't know why i was worried they're all just women in stem which i do love that we're finally you know a little women in stem moment um but like it was very predictable but obviously it's a romance novel um one thing i will say about it is people are like oh my god smut 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 y'all have never read smut um I gave this a two out of five on the smut meter because there's just one chapter that goes on for like literally nine pages but like that's it but like that's the only one other than that it's like just well you know so yes but overall I gave this book a four out of five I really liked it I thought it was a cute little read um it was a really fast little read so I originally wasn't going to read this book at all so I'm very glad that I forced myself to get into it and like forced myself to read it for a holiday but I'm reading my whole TBR right now, so like, kind of have to. But yeah, that's the Love Hypothesis uh, by Allie Hazelwood. I really liked some of her work, and I actually think I'm going to probably read more of her work. Um, just because it's, you know, cute little easy reads. Um, you can get through them in like a day or two, so it's like, yeah. But that's it. Uh, let me know what you think. If you read the Love Hypothesis or if you read any of the other ones, let me know your favorite one. Um, I thought it was a series, not a series. Um, so that kind of 
throws my entire plan because uh, I was going to do this was like my series of the month um, for March. So I, I think I'm still going to do them like back to back to back. But um, I think I might consider it a series of the March, but it's not technically a series. Um, but that's totally fine. But yeah, let me know what you think. Please make sure you like and subscribe. It helps me out so much more than you could possibly think. Also, make sure you follow my Goodreads. It's in the link below. It will tell you everything I'm currently reading, what's coming up next, because I always post there before I post like on here. So like I'm going to go upload my analysis right now. And then this video will come out in like two or three weeks, depending on, you know, whenever I uh, edit it, which editing takes the longest. So like uh, but yeah, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye! Yay!